going on, y'all? Fast Force all back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears and continuing my player outlook series from 2020. And today, as you can tell by the title, we're talking about running back Tariq Cohen. We didn't have a very good season last year, but let's see what happens this year. So we're going to get into the player outlook for Tariq Cohen, and I'll get into all his projections for 2020 and all of that. Before I do, if you're new to the channel, welcome Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Hit that big red subscribe button down below. It helps me out a lot when you support the channel. Check all the links in the description. Follow me on my social media, my Twitter, Instagram. Do all that, and I would really appreciate it. With that being said, let's get into the so video. I've got on the board behind me Tariq Cohen's 2019 stats, what I project out his 2020 numbers to be. I will put those out. And then finally, I uh, give him a grade on the three factors that I've been doing for every single Bears player. It's the impact, importance, the replaceability, depth, and then finally the potential for 2020, give that a grade on a scale of 1 to 10, and a final grade at the end. So with that being said, let's talk about Tariq Cohen and how he did last season. He regressed. Point blank period, folks. We talked a lot about the quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky, regressing, and he certainly did. And he's the quarterback, so that's why we talk about it, right? The most important position, not in just football, but perhaps all of sports. I got it. But let's also not ignore the fact that Tariq Cohen regressed last year as well, was not the same player that he was in 2018. And it's important, not just because obviously we want Tariq Cohen to play well, but because Tariq Cohen's up for a contract and the decision will be whether or not the Bears should extend him or not. And here is my thing with Tariq Cohen. I like Tariq Cohen. I think Tariq Cohen has a place on this team, but he is not being utilized properly, okay? Or he certainly wasn't utilized properly last season because at the core of it, what is Tariq Cohen? He's a space back, scat back, receiving back, though didn't really do receiving well last season because he dropped a few balls. But point being is he's still that more more of that kind of a back than he is a power running back, right? We, we all know that. Listen, let's not ignore the physical limitations here. Tariq Cohen is a small guy, okay? But use his strengths, right? Get him out in space. That is where you want Tariq Cohen to be because he will literally make guys miss and he will burn them, okay? And the perfect spot for Tariq Cohen is out in space, screen passes, etc. You get my point. Last year, that wasn't the case. We didn't use him properly. I believe Tariq Cohen was used too much as a rusher, okay? And let me show you as evident last year in his stats. So 16 games, and he started 11, okay? This year, I believe he won't start any because the Bears should be starting David Montgomery, but I'll get into that in a second. 64 rushes. For 213 yards, no touchdowns, and 3.3 yards per carry. Folks, listen. Terry Cohen, 3.3 yards per carry. You thought David Montgomery was bad, which is 3.7. Terry Cohen was even worse. Okay? And look, you might think that he's hard to tackle because he's small, but you can also make the argument he's easier to tackle because he is small. So it could go both ways. But clearly, he showed as a runner he wasn't that effective last season. Okay? But look at the receiving game. 104 targets, 79 catches, 456 yards, and three touchdowns, okay? Receiving touchdowns. Clearly better as a receiver. But even these numbers, by the way, were uh, a downgrade from 2018 when he had over like 700 receiving yards and more touchdowns, like eight, okay? So point being is use what he does well and stop using what he doesn't do well, okay? So when you look at 2020, this is what you want. 16 games, obviously. We want Tariq Cohen healthy, but I want zero starts. Yes, I don't want Tariq Cohen starting any game unless we're starting two running backs, but I don't know. Uh, David Montgomery is our starter. Okay, David Montgomery is our starting running back. Tariq Cohen is our backup running back, and he's a space back, gadget back, if you will. Okay, when I take a look at the rushing attempt, 64, I want it to come down. It needs to go down. I don't want Tariq Cohen rushing the football that much, okay? I want this around probably 50, okay? Maybe 45 to 50, around there. That uh, then would see what the yards would be, but the yards would be a, a focus of the, you know, what yards per carry. If we say he improves from this 3.3, the even like 3.5, because I don't think he's going to improve that much because I just don't think he's a good running back. He's a good catching back. That would put his yardage in terms of rushing around 175 yards, okay? That's kind of what it would put around. 
And again, zero rushing touchdowns. I want David Montgomery to be the hammer at the goal line instead of Tree Cohen. But if you want me to give him rushing touchdowns, maybe one, but that's about it, okay? But again, I need the rushing carries to come down. David Montgomery needs to get the ball more, okay? And then we take a look at the targets. Now this, this is where Tariq Cohen is more so useful, okay? So what can we do with the uh, receiving game? So give him more targets, okay? So you can give him more targets. So let's give him about 110 to maybe 115. There we go. If I can write properly, targets, okay? Catches about 85, maybe even 90, okay? And then in terms of the receiving yards, it's going to be about 500 to 550. Uh, but I do think, again, his touchdowns, receiving touchdowns can go up four, maybe five. But use him more here. But overall, overall, Tariq Cohen is used, misused. And he is also used a little too much, okay? So dial him down, make him more of a, uh, you know, space back where you're, you know, getting him out in space and getting him in those situations. Use David Montgomery more. And every time Tariq Cohen is on the field and he has the ability to get the ball, you can make it more impactful, okay? And here's the thing. Tariq Cohen is such a cheat code when he is able to be on his A game, that if you don't use him properly, you're doing yourself a disservice. Now, point being is just imagine, okay? Imagine this, Tariq Cohen and the Chiefs offense. How dangerous would he be? I mean, I get it, right? They have a better quarterback. They have a way better offense, better weapons. But point being is, I have no doubt in my mind, Andy Reid would find a way to get Tariq Cohen the football and make him literally like a cheat code in that Chiefs offense. Like imagine all the space you would be able to create and, and make guys miss. The Bears need to do something similar. Use this man in space instead of making him a traditional running back. Okay, I feel like the Bears should have signed somebody else to back up. David Montgomery is more of a traditional runner. Uh, but point being is, again, that's a different discussion. Use Tariq Cohen in space. So let's take a look at the impact importance. I'm going to say in terms of how impactful and important Tariq Cohen is to the Bears' success, I'm going to say a six. Again, Tariq Cohen, I don't think he's a huge determining factor of whether we win or lose. Um, he is more of icing than the cake. Um, replaceability depth. Now, this is something where I don't believe the Bears have much depth at the running back spot. Obviously, look, you've got David Montgomery in front of him. He's a starter. But behind, you got guys like Artavius Pierce. He's a practice squad guy. Ryan Nall. He's another guy, again, not very impressive so i'm gonna say this is also a six potential for 2020 Tariq cohen if used properly is an absolute cheat code and a gadget uh that can do a lot of things i'm gonna put that as an eight okay potential Tariq cohen's a guy that can literally do a lot if you use him properly that again would get you to what 20 out of 30 overall so that is my grade for Tariq Cohen. So there you have it, folks. Let me know if you agree with me or not. Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching.